Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you tarot and witchcraft is what I do. For those of you guys returning, my lovelies, welcome back. We have the full moon. Yes, full moon is tonight. Um, and for those of you guys that are in Pacific time, uh, we're going to be experiencing the full moon, uh, 11.43 p.m. our time. So I wanted to look into the situation for all of the zodiac signs and see what you can expect in the next 72 hours. What is this full moon bringing to you? It was something that was very much calling to me all day, um, even though we were extremely busy doing other things. So uh, I take it as spirit wanting to communicate this to each one of you guys. So we're going to look into it. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. And well, let's get into it. You guys grab your coffee, grab your soda, grab your wine, whatever it is that you drink, and let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's see what you guys can expect this coming full moon in Sagittarius and how it's going to affect you, what it's bringing to you in the next 72 hours. So let's get into it. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ancestors and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely. Allow me to hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages for each one of the signs. We're going to begin here with, obviously, Gemini. It is Gemini season. So we're going to begin here with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is it that they can expect? What is unfolding for them this full moon? And what they can expect in the next coming 72 hours. What they can expect in the next coming 72 hours. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any readings or any of the service you guys can find everything on the description box below as well as our book manifest your destiny or the journals that we have um, that i speak about in the book so you guys can get all of that on the description box below all right gemini's let's see what's going on in your gemini season what do you can expect this coming full moon what is unfolding for you and what is expected to uh, experience in the next 72 hours. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, Gemini, we're starting off here with the Three of Pentacles. So there is collaboration that is going to be unfolding for you guys. For some of you guys, it's revisiting or actually visiting family. Reconnecting is what I'm hearing. Now, you also do have here the Two of Wands, and this is speaking about expansion and growth. Um, I feel like for... For this uh, coming, um, or I should say for this full moon and the next coming 72 hours, I feel like you guys are going to be feeling a bit like wanting to move forward. This full moon is propelling you to move forward, to expand your horizons. But there is also almost an energy of feeling like you're going to be challenged in the aspect of your relatives or family members. Um it's almost kind of like a feeling of when you are very aware of the growth and expansion that is needed in your life. And for some of you guys, it's realizing the people that in our family dynamic can be toxic sometimes. So it's like you're wanting to slowly pull away. For some of you guys, you have already been pulling away. And this, um, this coming full moon, it's going to bring to you the energy of having the need to balance that having the need to um especially those of you guys that are still going through it right now it's almost like i feel like you guys are being torn in two different directions and i feel like for a lot of you guys this is going to have to do with family relatives relationships connections um there is almost this inkling of wanting to or being aware of knowing the people that you need to create distance with but for some of you guys it could be a little bit harder than others um and it it could potentially be because it's people that you really care for and that you love um that's if you guys like i said for a lot of you guys you're already experiencing this and you're experiencing also the peace that that you find or that is bringing to your life uh distancing yourself from that but i feel like they're needing you or they may need you in the next coming uh, 72 hours for some of you guys it could be someone that reaches out that is really needing um, your assistance your support or emotional support and there is almost this feeling again like I said of like I, I want to create distance I know that you know they're 
not necessarily, you know, good. They're toxic. Um, but you're kind of being pulled or feeling like you're being pulled towards like taking a couple of steps backwards instead of moving forward. Um, and there's really this feeling of, there's really this feeling of, um, Am I ever going to release? Am I ever going to be able to walk away? Am I ever going to be able to say no? And the reason why you're being tested is because you're right at the culmination of a new beginning. You're right in the culmination of experiencing new momentum as well as new opportunities or broader horizons. Um, so take it, take it as it comes, Gemini. If someone is really reaching out to you, maybe in the past they were very toxic perhaps, uh, you just completely, you know, created that distance with them or towards them. They're coming back around and don't feel like, don't get overwhelmed or don't get too caught up in the moment of feeling like, you know, I'm trying to pull back and they just keep and keep and keep coming back. What Spirit is telling you is sometimes uh, we, as well as the people that are around us, are going through cycles. And with this cycle, it's going to bring to you more opportunities but also more wisdom and wisdom towards the people that kind of relied on you and didn't appreciate or perhaps took you for granted because here they are again putting themselves in a situation where they need you so it's almost like your absence has created a self-awareness in them of how important you are in their lives and those that are toxic are going to have like this moment of reflection or this moment of having like a real hard truth, like looking at themselves in the mirror and realizing, you know what, I have been taking Gemini for granted and they've made my love, my life much more better. They bring more happiness to my life. So there is like a turning of a page that's happening here with those around you or those that have relied on you or have needed you in the past. And being able to realize really what you're worth uh, and what you bring to their lives. It's almost like a realization of your worth to them. Um, so this is a good thing, uh, Gemini. If you do experience, like I said, someone reaching out and there is a bit of like anger or frustration there, try not to really dive into that. Try the best to tell yourself, you know what? If this is happening, it's happening for a reason. And maybe this is a realization that they need to go through to realize that, l listen, at the end of the day, I pulled away because you're toxic. And as life would have it, you're here again needing from me and reaching out. And this is going to impact them in the aspect of realizing really how much you mean to them and what you mean in their life and what you bring to them in your life, whether it's just having a near, you know, having someone that they can express their emotions or what they're going through. Um, there is a lot of self-actualization that's happening here of those people around you coming to terms with maybe I'm the screw up. Maybe it wasn't Gemini all this time. Maybe I'm the one that didn't appreciate them and that's why they created distance. It's I see that there is a, a, a reconnecting, a, a re-embracing of friendships or connections but it's in a positive aspect the aspect of them realizing what you mean to them in their lives now this for some of you guys could be romantically as well it could be that in the past you walked away from something that was extremely toxic they're coming to the realization that it's not you it was them and i see them reaching out coming back around trying to make it right trying to make it better so don't be surprised. And they are definitely highlighting the sun here and the moon, which is the yin and yang, which is balance. But it's also indicating that uh, for a lot of you Geminis, um, depending on where you have Sagittarius placement, that's really going to be like a majorly being influence and impact um, connections that have either fallen or that you have broken away from um, because of toxicity or because of feeling like you've outgrown them and I see a remerging of solidifying those connections because people are realizing what you mean to them and what you do for them in their life in a positive way that they are really embracing your worthiness Gemini so don't be surprised if you hear exes or people coming back around trying to make amends with you because they've realized that they were the problem not you Gemini Alrighty, now let's move on to 
Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. What you guys can expect in the next coming 72 hours. What is this full moon bringing to Cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. Here we go. Oh, you got cards flying out. <laughs> All right, the Ten of Wands wanted to show up here. And... Um, you guys are going through a cycle of a completion cancer for a lot of you guys if you've been feeling like a lot of a lot of burdens a lot of responsibilities like just feeling like you're kind of being pinned down with responsibilities you're coming at the end of that and what this full moon is bringing to you what's going to be very important is the fact that you're going to need to be more structured in your life cancer and the reason I say this is the emperor as an obstacle is an indication of the lack of uh, stability or the lack of structure in your life. And this could represent every single aspect of your life, not just one particular aspect. So we're talking about relationships. We're talking about in your career. We're talking about every single aspect in your life. For perhaps for some time, you guys have been feeling like, uh, you know, Things just keep adding to your plate and it's like too much at this point. But the emperor is telling you in this very moment, what you need to do is structure or restructure your life. What is it that you're taking on that is not even your duty or responsibility to take on? Are you doing too much for other people? Are you adding based on their issues and their problems and you trying to be there are you taking on responsibilities that are not of your own but of them but because you care for them you try to be there for them and it's getting to the point of exhaustion for you or to the point of not being able to uh, have structure in your life because you're allowing other people or other issues affect your personal life now we're moving on here with the seven of pentacles and the eight of wands so again i feel like this new moon is bringing to you much more structure and it's bringing to you much more opportunities to bring growth into your life the seven of pentacles is indicating being able to take some time and really count or take inventory of what is it that's what is it or who the people in your life are currently are they relying on you too much to the point, like I said, of exhaustion, to the point of you emptying your own cup to fill theirs? And if that's something that's been happening, it's it's time for a change. So you're going to be forced to deal with situations that are going to make you feel like you have to speak up in the moment because if you don't, you're going to explode and explode in the aspect of like flip the shit, right? Um embrace that energy because by speaking up what's going to happen is that people are going to be able to hear you out but also realize how much are they really relying on you so after being able to consequently uh, deal with that or feel free to express your feelings or your frustration you're going to start to notice that things start to open up for you and become much more easier for you and um, quick movement is there un therefore unfolding for you so i feel like for some for a lot of you guys you've been holding back uh you haven't fully been expressing yourself or perhaps you've been keeping certain things to yourself because you don't want to hurt other people's feelings but at this point like you're not the doormat you cannot be a doormat so you have to stand your ground cancer now the reason why they're speaking about this is because there is a particular situation that may come up where you feel like you're being forced to speak up, but at the same time, I feel you a little bit intimidated or feeling like you have to side with someone. So this could be a relative, this could be a friend, or this could be a lover. Um, and what they're telling you is speak your truth, Cancer. Do not sit there and think about other people's feelings right now. It's going to be crucial and fundamental for you to fully express yourself in a very clear way and in a way that speaks about what it is that your wants and desires are. So what they're in essence telling you is that this full moon is going to bring to you. And I see for a lot of you guys, your uh, your throat chakra opening up. So a lot of you guys have been holding back. I feel like what's going to happen is you're going to become much more vocal. And because of this, I feel like you guys felt all this time that you couldn't be vocal because you didn't want to hurt people's feelings. 
but by you being able to fully express what you want or what you expect and not silencing yourself, what's going to happen is that people are going to start to embrace you much more, Cancer, and people are going to start to respect you much more. So again, be true and be honest with yourself. I see that a lot of things that have been unfolding in your life, what's bringing to what this full moon is bringing to you is balance. It's bringing to you a situation that you're going to feel like you're being balanced or like life itself is balancing itself out for you. For others of you, it is definitely bringing about a, a major change, a, a shift that has been needed to happen for quite a while. If you were being treated or put in a position where you felt like you were being treated unfairly, that's going to be changing. And again, it's going to come at the cost of you having the courage to actually speak up for yourself. Now it's bringing to you much more opportunities. It's bringing to you growth. And it is also bringing to you a, a, a sense of feeling content and feeling like I said, love and respected and something that I always tell my clients at the end of the day, if you speak up and it makes people feel a certain type of way that they pull away from you, that just means that those people are not your people, Cancer. It means that that is not your tribe and it is okay because those that love you and those that respect you are going to respect boundaries. So I see you going into this new energy of being more in control I see you being more confident about who you are and how you express yourself and letting go of the need for validation. It's like, I am no longer concerned about if you agree with me or not. This is what I stand for. This is what I want. And if you're not okay with that, there's the door. I see you guys getting much more empowered here. So very beautiful energy, Cancer. All right, now we're moving along here with Leo. Let's see what Leo can expect this full moon. What can Leo expect in the next coming 72 hours? Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What can Leo expect in the next coming 72 hours? Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, Leo, you have the queen of pentacles here. We're talking about worthiness and we're talking about self-worth here. So what I'm hearing is for a lot of you guys, there is this energy of feeling more confident in yourself, in what you bring to the people around you. Um, there is also this focus, major focus on your growth and fertility. So fertility could represent for some of you guys, if you guys are in fact trying to uh, procreate <laughs> or if you're trying to um, get knocked up or get someone knocked up, um, they are definitely talking about the possibility of being able to see that manifestation. Um, so again, if you're not trying to, just be careful, you guys. But what I am seeing here is fertile in the aspect of abundance in every single aspect of your life. There is this energy where for some of you guys, you feel much more inspired. And also what I'm hearing is for a lot of you guys, if you've noticed, like your temper has been uh, a little bit less patient lately. It's because this Sagittarius full moon is obviously it's a fire energy. It's bringing major momentum to you as a fire energy yourself. So your temper may be very delicate right now you may be triggered very easily and what they're telling you is that there is a need for you to compose or hold back don't react um based on emotion okay and this could be work related for some of you guys so um when i hear don't react based on emotion some of you guys may feel very very inspired and and, and very passionate right now the fire is what's really like getting my attention, which is like literally feeling like you're on fire. <laughs> so it could be someone triggering you. It could be someone bringing out that temper in you. But right at the center, you have the queen of pentacles and pentacles. Uh, the queen of pentacles is very practical, but also very earthly bound. So what they're telling you is be grounded. Um, Leo, be grounded because your temper 
uh, may get the best of you. So right now I see you guys extremely uh, intense and ext extremely passionate right now. Um, and like I said, it is very fiery energy that I'm sensing here. What they're saying is you will be able to overcome um, whatever challenges are currently unfolding for some of you guys. Um, it's specifically in the workplace. Uh, moving along from that, what I am seeing is going on towards a new journey, a new beginning. You're going to be feel much more inspired. Um, for some of you guys, it's actually taking action through inspiration. So in the next 72 hours, for some of you guys, you may actually be getting spiritual downloads of how to make your life much more easier in the aspect of bringing more ab abundance or more stability to your life. If you get that inkling or if you wake up one day and you feel inspired or you get an idea or something, try to chase that idea because it will make, give you a lot of breakthroughs. Now, I do see, again, like I said, for some of you guys, you've, if you've been thinking about moving, if you've been thinking about um, changing residency or getting your own place or whatnot, I feel like this is going to trigger you to actually take that leap of faith, to actually go for what it is that you want and be unapologetic about it. I see you guys really focusing a lot on the transformation that you're wanting to bring into your life. A lot of you guys are taking inventory. Uh, am I in the right relationship? Are they giving me and fulfilling me in every single aspect? Or is this coming to a culmination where we feel very disconnected? There is major transformation that's happening for you, Leos. And I feel like what's going to be majorly where you're going to be able to see these breakthroughs is in your finances, in your love life as well. For a lot of you guys, there is a new cycle, a new beginning. And with this new beginning, there is a connection that's forming or that will become much more solidified. So beautiful energy, Leo. A lot of passion, you guys. For some of you guys, I'm hearing uh, your sexual appetite is definitely going to be increased. Uh, that's if you haven't noticed that already. And for those of you guys that have been on a dry spell, quote unquote, I see you guys finally breaking that spell, uh, becoming much more active in your sexual appetite. All right, moving along here, let's go to Virgo. Let's see what Virgo can expect in the next coming 72 hours. What can Virgo expect? What is this full moon bringing to Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus in the next 72 hours. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Virgo. We're starting off here with the six of wands, feeling empowered, feeling strong, feeling much more confident in yourself, Virgo. For some of you guys, you guys are getting accolades or you're getting attention. And a lot of you guys are getting uh, romantic opportunities that are coming through for some of you guys. I'm trying to remove the glare. <clears throat> So what I'm seeing is for some of you guys, there is a lot of attention that's coming towards you. This could be in your career, in your field, whatever it is that you do. But for others of you, this could represent uh, like attention in regards to like uh, prospects or people that are interested in you. Um, you're going to notice that your love life starts to bloom in the next coming three days. For a lot of you guys, there is some type of opportunity that will be unfolding uh, someone is making it very clear that they're interested in you, Virgo. And this is definitely a very intense and passionate month for you guys. Uh, Ace of Wands here is speaking to me about the month itself and uh, a lot of momentum in regards to love and romance. Uh, very exciting here. We have the magician and the lovers. Uh, yeah, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, this full moon is going to bring to you guys uh, very deep connections, um, people that are more in your vibration or that are looking for the same, uh, like-minded people. Uh, even if those of you guys that have been single for a while, if you feel like things have been a bit stagnant in your love life, that's not going to be the case. You're going to notice a difference in the next coming three days. People either giving you more attention or people just naturally being drawn to you. I see you guys even like going to the grocery and people walking up to you and asking for your number. I see you guys very, very much in tune with your sexual energy and people giving you that attention. Now you do have here the nine of pentacles with the three of uh, wands, seven of wands and the four, uh, sorry, the five of swords. 
So what they're telling you is if you guys are ready to embrace love and romance, uh, definitely give yourself the opportunity to connect with people. But try the best you can not to be so guarded. Uh, try the best you can to not be so much in your head, Virgo, because I see you guys kind of like questioning, is this person really interested? Are they not? And what's happening is that you're so much in your head that you're going to start to create obstacles that are not even there. So my advice to you is fully embrace this energy because I see love all around you guys. And I see major opportunities specifically with a particular person that has been single for quite a while and they fully embrace their singlehood. And this could be you as well transitioning to uh, being comfortable in the idea of being single and then boom, you meet this person or boom, that person meets you. So it's almost like you guys are kind of manifesting each other. Uh, if you guys feel very connected or if you Virgo feel very connected to this person, try the best you can not to be so defensive. Try the best you can not to be so guarded. Get out of your head, Virgo, because uh, I know Virgos have a tendency of being overthinkers and what we put energy to is where the energy flows. So you don't want to have a good connection and then fuck it up by overthinking. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can Libra expect in the next coming three days, in the next 72 hours? What is this full moon bringing to Libra? I almost said Virgo. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo or will be dealing with a Virgo. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect in the next coming 72 hours? What is this full moon bringing to Libras? All right, here we go, Libra. We have the star card. Star card is being illuminated. It also indicates destiny taking center stage right now in your life. Um, if you guys have been putting out to the universe or wanting to manifest something, I see it finally coming through for you guys. I feel like this new moon, uh, sorry, not new moon, this full moon um, in Sagittarius is most definitely going to bring to you that which you've been hoping or wishing for um, very strongly. And with it, it's bringing to you major transformation. So with the star card here and the death card, there is a transition. There is something that you've been keeping your hopes about, uh, something that you haven't really given up on that is coming full circle, full cycle. Uh, you're getting clarity in regards to something that you were holding on to or that felt like it was keeping you from being able to move forward. You're finally getting that closure, um, Libra. And for others of you, it could indicate finally being able to see kind of the path that you're on or that you should be on. Uh, major transition happening here for you guys. Now, yeah, most definitely an ending cycle here that's happening. You have the world card and the four of wands. So I feel that there's major momentum in regards to your life right now, Libra. We are specifically talking about not a specific aspect in your life, but your life completely. There's a major trans transition and you have gone through what you have gone through. You're finally celebrating some type of victory here. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're finally getting your own place. For others of you, you are transitioning completing a cycle of something for some of you guys graduating for others of you completing some type of training and being able to see the fruits of that hard labor there is a culmination that's happening here that is bringing to you major stability in your life and there is major cause for celebration here and a lot of momentum a lot of positive energy here you're finally moving on moving towards more calmer waters moving towards more possibilities and opportunities especially those of you guys that recently have gone through some type of celebratory energy whether it's some type of graduation which is or whether it's completing some type of training i see you guys taking on a new opportunity that's coming through that is going to take you definitely elevate you your status your finances your money um and with this yes a lot of responsibility is going to come with this but it is about making sure that you're taking full advantage of all these opportunities that are presenting themselves to you to elevate you, to take you to the next level in your life. I see a lot of attention and momentum here for you guys. So very beautiful energy, Libra. All right, we are moving on now to Scorpio. 
what's going on with Scorpio? What can Scorpio expect in the next coming 72 hours? What is this full moon bringing to Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. All right, here we go. We have the Strength card here with the Hierophant. So there is an intense or very passionate connection for some of you guys that is coming through that this full moon is going to bring to you, especially those of you guys that are single right now. Maybe dealing with a Taurus or maybe dealing with a Leo, fire energy. Um, what I'm seeing is you guys have mastered the lessons that you have gone through, Scorpio. I feel like you're able to or have been able to tame certain aspects about yourself. I'm seeing a lot of like self-love and self-worth here, uh, which is indicating to me coming to some type of cycle where you've been either focusing or putting your energy on yourself and your self-love, pouring love into you. Um, maybe even working on, you know, toxic traits that we carry sometimes. And you're finally breaking away from old patterns is what I'm seeing here for a lot of you. Now, your next card here is the devil and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, so I see an ending cycle to toxicity. Um, I feel you much more empowered or coming to the realization or being able to see through people's intentions. Even those that may be family that may be around you that you may love and care for, but you realize that they are toxic and you're finally breaking away from that. Now, for others of you, especially those of you guys that have a tendency of getting yourselves into very toxic connections, I see you at a point where you're tired and you're fed up with dealing with that. You're graduating is what I'm hearing. You are finally realizing not just their toxic traits or the red flags, but you're also have been working or will be working on yourself. And what about you is that attracts that type of energy. So I see you guys taking self-responsibility for past relationships or past traumas where you played a role. And I see you guys fully being, you know, fully embracing your power, fully embracing who you are, fully embracing like if the person, um, you know, if the person that's coming through is not a person that's going to match my energy, I am okay being in this energy because I have more than enough and I have a lot of like to be able to count for a lot of my blessings. So I see you guys really empowered. And with this empowerment, obviously you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of uh, growth. And what I'm hearing is self growth. Now we also have here the three of swords, a heartbreak, um, things that we've dealt with in the past. Seven of pentacles here, looking towards the past, realizing the past traumas, the toxicity, between connections or between people that you've dealt with and you're finally being able to release all of that energy. You're finally being able to embrace yourself worth Scorpio. So what I'm seeing is for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, that is quickly going to change. You will not be single for very long. I see you guys starting a new connection that is going to bring to you um, stability and something long term. Now, what I can tell you is that for a lot of you guys, this full moon healing is what's happening. And up until I want to say the past three weeks, maybe up until now, maybe it's something that you've realized. Maybe it's something you've been working on. But with this full moon, it's going to completely highlight this aspect of your life, which is your love life. And it's bringing to you releasing negativity and being able to fully embrace and step into the new version of yourself. And with this new version, obviously you are bringing towards you the person that is meant for you. There is a distinct pattern where we see toxicity and what is unfolding here is very like feeling very accomplished, feeling very blessed, feeling like for cause for celebration. It's like your destiny finally aligning or you feeling like destiny is finally on, you know, on your side. There's a lot of synchronicities that are happening in your life right now. And again, for those of you guys, if you've recently connected with someone, um, do not be surprised if this person turns out to be a long time, 
long-term partner for you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Had to pause that real quick. Okay, moving on. Alrighty, now let's look into Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is uh, this full moon is happening in your sign. So you guys are most definitely going to be uh, very, very affected by this full moon. Let's see what you guys can expect. What can Sagittarius expect in the next coming 72 hours? What is this full moon bringing to them? Let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go. All right, Sagittarius, you have the King of Swords here. Thinking about things, thinking things throughly. For a lot of you guys, um, there's almost this energy of feeling like I have to make certain changes. Um is what I'm hearing. I need to make certain changes. Uh, for some of you guys, it is taking your power back is what I'm seeing here. What's standing out to me is the ring that this king is holding in his hand or that he's wearing in his hand and the sword, right? And the sword is up, upward, which is almost like getting to the point of bringing it down, getting to the point of breaking certain chains, or breaking certain connections. Your next card here is the Knight of Pentacles. Something that you've been kind of hesitating about. Or something that you've been um, going through. Or it's been challenging you for a while. It, it's almost like having to make those hard decisions about life. And it's been a journey for you guys, but I see you guys finally being able to get to the point of making that decision without hesitation. Now you also have here the High Priestess and the Two of Pentacles. So High Priestess is the past and passing energy. And this is an energy of perhaps in the past you lack direction and the lack of direction came from the doubt of your intuition so I see you guys being able to fully embrace your intuition or start to listen to your intuition. And with this uh, knowledge, with this spiritual awareness, what's happening is that things are going to need to change and there is decisions to be made. But with those decisions, balance is bringing or coming about. You have the sun card here and the lover's card. So for some of you guys, it's making a very difficult decision about a partnership where with the Knight of Pentacles, it's been a very long journey. It's something you haven't either wanted to give up on or you've been working very hard towards. But this is going to illuminate that relationship. For some of you guys, this could be positive. For others, it could be negative, right? Because it can illuminate the greatness of this connection and the reciprocation of the relationship from your partner. But if it's in the negative, you're realizing your self-worth, Sagittarius, and you're making the hard decision, the hard decision of embracing, right? King of Swords, embracing what your mind is telling you versus your heart. So it's a hard decision, but I see you guys making that decision. I see you guys culminating to the point of making the decision of choosing yourself because it's bringing to you balance. There is a new cycle to begin here. Now, for others of you, it could be making a decision about two people in your life. Someone that perhaps you've been working towards trying to fix a relationship or a connection but it's, like I said, coming to the realization that perhaps that's not what's best for you. For some of you guys, I see you guys dealing with an earth energy. So it could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. 
I feel like there is an opportunity here. Okay, so I'm getting two different versions. For some of you guys, what I'm seeing is making a decision about a relationship that hasn't worked out because the intensity and the passion is no longer there on your part. Um, but I also see you guys making the decision to choose yourself or your wants and needs. And with this, you begin a new journey where you start to be surrounded by the right people. You start to be surrounded by your tribe or people that think like you, people that motivate you and that you motivate them. People that are, like I said, like-minded people. And with this, you will start to notice that your life starts to change, that you start to become more structured, that you start to have more stability in your life. Now, the other side of this is that I see someone walking away from a situation that you've been dealing with for a while, but you felt connected to someone else, never really giving the opportunity to that connection because for some of you guys, you ran from this connection because it was too intense or it was too strong. But this full moon is bringing to you guys clarity in regards to what your heart wants. And the hesitation is in the mind, but I feel like you guys are making the rational decision. So if at some point you were dealing with two people, I feel, I feel like you guys are finally getting clarity and you are in alignment. My head is telling me this and my heart is telling me this and like you feel torn. But I feel like that's something that's like past energy. You're finally coming to the conclusion of making a decision where your heart and your mind are in alignment and you're going or being pushed towards the right direction or towards the right partner. So it's going to resonate. I know it feels like it was all over the place, but for some of you guys, if you've been dealing with toxic situation, you're finally making that decision and you're choosing yourself and you're making yourself a priority. And you start to surround yourself with positive people or like-minded people that are going to open more opportunities and more doors for you. For others of you, it's walking away from something you've been holding on for too long and finally making the decision the decision to choose or go for the person that you kind of ran away from a connection because you felt like it was too real or you felt like this person had their shit together and maybe you didn't. So there was some type of lack of confidence there, but I feel you guys really being enlightened in the next coming three days where things are going to make much more sense and you're going to get major clarity here. All right, my lovelies. That was a lot of messages for Sagittarius. All right, moving along. Let's go to Cappies. Let's see what Capricorn can expect in the next coming 72 hours. What is this full moon bringing to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect in the next 72 hours? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. One more shuffle. Thank you. All right, here we go. See what's going on with Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, we have the Six of Pentacles. All right, so you guys are getting balanced. Balance in regards to karma. <laughs> All right. So for some of you guys, um, what you're going to be experiencing in the next coming 72 hours is you're going to see a situation unfold where you felt like for some of you guys, um, people that kind of took you for granted or took advantage of you. You, you start to see the scales start to balance themselves. And I'm, I'm almost sensing like you're seeing it on full display. So it could be like people that did you wrong. You're finally seeing or you find out that their life is like going sideways uh, or that they're being treated in the same way that they treated you. Um, and it's almost like. It's almost like. Karma karma balancing out life and bringing to you on full display being able to see um people dealing with their own actions or the consequences of their own actions now i see you guys a little bit guarded capricorn um 
a little bit private is what I'm seeing you guys and I see you guys really focused in your bag in your money in your finances uh, there's major momentum that starts to pick up six of pentacles is always the giving and receiving so this is like I feel like what spirit wants to communicate very strongly is you're going to see karma unfold and karma could be negative to those that did you wrong and positive to those that have helped you you're going to start to see them being blessed but with these blessings you also start to be able to see the results of your heart labor and dedication to what you do or to the people that are in your life and major movement starts to happen for you guys for some of you guys there is a definite increase in some type of financial gain so this could be money coming in that was unexpected this could be people uh coming back around over something that you did for them in a positive way and they're trying to uh recompensate you or make it up to you and i feel like for a lot of you guys money could be uh, coming in or there is opportunities to make money that starts to open up for you guys if you've been waiting on some type of loan or some type of um some type of financial assistance that's definitely coming through uh for you guys now what they're also showing me here is there is there's a woman energy that's coming through where she treated you very unkindly or treated you very harshly. And with this, you're going to start to hear or find out that their life has been challenged. And it's almost like it's going to trigger that memory of how that person treated you specifically, Capricorn. And do not feel bad for them because, like I said, whatever we put out, we get back. So I feel like this is karma and justice taking, taking center stage right now. Um, I see you guys getting a lot of attention, a lot of attention based on your growth, based on your success. For some of you guys, you're going to be very noticed through social media. So whether it's, you know, your socials, whatever it is that you're posting, people are definitely watching you and keeping a close eye on you. Why? Because they're starting to see the results of your hard work and dedication. For those of you Capricorns that are in the public eye, I definitely do see more attention, more mass attention coming through, more people reaching out, more business coming in for you guys. So I feel like this full moon, what's bringing to you is a lot of financial gains, my lovely Capricorns, which I know my Cappies are usually like, people always make it about business, right? <laughs> I have a lot of Cappies that are always like, yeah, people always talk about business. Like if we're obsessed with that, we also want a love life or we also want to know about our love life. But it seems like this full moon gains is coming through for you. Capricorn money is coming through for you guys, which is never a bad thing. <laughs> All right, moving along. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the next coming three days? What can they expect with this coming full moon? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Aquarius. All right, we're starting off here with the Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Whoa. Major momentum. I see a wish fulfillment happening here. For some of you guys, you have met the person that's right for you or the person that's going to play a very important role in your life. For others of you, there is a distinct desire to manifest or to see into fruition something you've been hoping or working very hard towards and you're finally being able to see that or see the results of it i feel like this full moon is bringing to you culmination of your hard work and dedication whatever energy or effort you've been putting towards any aspect of your life you're being able to see the out the actual outcome of it um i feel like a lot of abundance a lot of plentiness is energy that is uh currently around you that you're going to be experiencing for some of you guys there is a major transition that's happening where if you guys haven't had a love life that's definitely going to change and i see a specific person that has their eye on you aquarius for some of you guys this could be a leo energy or fire energy uh, which would be an aries and uh, aries a sagittarius or a leo person and i see them watching you and really being very pulled towards your energy very you know wanting to reach out and they finally communicate with you i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be surprised 
Um, the majority of you guys are not even aware of this person. Or if you are aware of the person, you didn't, you weren't aware that they were interested in you. But they finally take that leap of faith. And that is definitely something that this full moon is going to create. It's kind of pushing them towards taking action and no longer being um, like a weirdo behind the scenes. Now, you also have here the emperor. Again, fire energy, structure and stability regarding your love life. You're going into a new cycle. Aquarius, beautiful energy, you guys. Oh, my God. You guys have the emperor structure in regards to relationships and partnerships a new beginning a new cycle the uh possibilities are endless here and this is your energy the star card aquarius so there is major transformation what is this full moon bringing to you it's bringing to you happiness and it's bringing to you a relationship now if you are a man um i see a female that is coming through for some of you guys she could be an aries uh, or a Leo. Now, if you are a female, I see a man coming into your life. And uh, this man is definitely fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, like I mentioned. Um, very, very intense energy. Now, for those of you guys that are same sex, I see them uh, being more on the masculine aspect. So if it's a female, it's definitely not a femme. Um, and if it's a male, it's definitely uh, someone that is uh, more rigid, um, kind of um, very, very masculine in, uh, in their energy. Um, powerful energy, you guys. Aquarius, those of you guys that have been single for a while, hold on to your seats because this full moon is definitely bringing to you a lot of intensity and passion. All right. The first time I actually see that much intensity for Aquarius. <laughs> All right. Moving along. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. What can Pisces expect this full moon? In the next coming 72 hours, what can Pisces expect? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Here we go, Pisces. All right. We have the Three of Wands. You're waiting on something. For some of you guys, you're waiting to find the right person. For others of you, you're eager to find a person. Now, here's the thing. I see options for you. If you are in a situation where the relationship has kind of, you know, weathered or the intensity of the connection is no longer there, I feel like you're coming to the realization that you've outgrown this connection. Now, like I mentioned, for those of you guys that are single, I do see that there is major options coming through for you. Now, one of the things that's going to be very important for you guys, how you'll know who the right person is, is the person that makes you a priority Pisces. The lover's card is obviously the passion and the intensity, right? The yin and the yang coming together. Um, Obviously, not everyone is in the same spiritual journey as we are, or our awareness may not be the same as theirs, or theirs may not be the same as ours. However, a person that, what they're telling you is stop sacrificing yourself. At this point, you've outgrown that energy, and it is about who puts you first. Allow yourself to be put on a pedestal, Pisces. That's how you're going to know that person is right for you. And that's how you're going to know if it's worth investing or it's worth walking away from. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is, again, looking towards the lovers. Knowing, it, going into any type of connection, you need to know your self-worth. You need to know what you deserve. And do not settle for anything less than that. Anything that you, you know, like I said, that you settle for is going to only bring you heartbreak. If this is something you've been going through for a while, Pisces, it's time you learn to put yourself first. Make yourself a priority. Allow people to show you who's right for you. Now, I am seeing for a lot of you guys, there's an earth energy, Capricorn, Tur Taurus, or Virgo. This is high frequency energy, you guys. So this is not like, if you're going to come and say, you know, Pinky, that's my ex-partner and your ex-partner doesn't have a job, it's definitely not a king of pentacles, okay? So we're talking about high vibration here, you guys. Um, a lot of the times when we do speak about specific signs, and keep in mind, a lot of the readings that I do, well, all the readings I do, are channeled. So... 
it is not necessarily a sign. It's an energy that I'm seeing. However, they are telling me if it's an earth energy, it is high vibrational energy. It is so high vibration would be someone that is in a very good place in their life. So it's not going to be, you know, a bum. It's not going to be someone that is childish or childish. It's not going to be someone that doesn't have their life together. King of pentacles out of all the kings obviously is what? It's the pentacles, right? So it's a person that is financially stable. This is a person that has their shit together. That's how you're going to know this person is right for you. Even if they're not an earth sign, it's being represented as an uh, as the king of pentacles. So it's speaking about a person that is very earthly bound. Someone that is, you know, there that runs their own business or that makes good money or that has been doing, you know, consistently their career for quite a while and they're very successful. That's how you're going to know this person is the one that's right for you. So again, don't come and be like, oh, it's it's my ex, but then your ex doesn't have their shit together. It's not them. By the way, this is a new person. It's not an ex, okay? So keep that in mind. Like I said, you have the king of pentacles, ace of pentacles, wheel of fortune. You're no longer going to be dealing with this type of energy, Pisces. You're no longer going to be um, dealing with like feeling being let down. Here's the thing. And something I recently told one of my clients. It's not... A lot of people have expectations when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, right? And that's completely normal. But something I tell my clients is when you go into a connection, a new connection, don't necessarily have expectations, have requirements. There is a difference. If a person, um, if you don't want to be treated a certain type of way and that person puts you in that situation that makes you feel that way, that's when you know I need to walk away. So there's a difference between expectations. Expectations is what you're expecting from that partner. Requirements is completely different. I require the man that I'm dealing with to have his shit together. I require that they put in as much energy and effort as I do. If they don't meet those requirements, then don't waste your time, Pisces. And I see you guys majorly having momentum when we're talking about relationships. Uh, some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn or will be dealing with the Capricorn. Some of you guys are dealing with walking away from a connection that perhaps for some of you guys was a long-term connection, but that you realized was toxic or that you realized that person wasn't what they were presenting themselves to be. The devil and the magician. The magician giving me vibes of reverse. So magician is, I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you all the things that I know you want to hear doesn't make it true because deep down I'm toxic as shit. So you guys are coming to the realization of those toxicity uh, patterns in relationships and you're finally moving on from that. You're finally releasing yourself from that and no longer dealing, for some of you guys, you're no longer dealing with being the mommy or the daddy in the relationship. Whether you're female or male, doesn't matter. You're finally realizing, I'm not going to take care of this person. That's not what dating is. I cannot have another child uh, aside from my kids. You know, <laughs> I don't want a partner as a child. So you're coming to that realization. You're coming to the realization of, I know what I'm worthy of. I know what I deserve, and I'm no longer settling for anything less. That's what this full moon's bringing to you. It's self-actualization and self-worthiness, Pisces. Very strong energy, beautiful energy, by the way. All right, so now we're going with my beautiful Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what Aries can expect in the next coming 72 hours. I love Aries people. Whether they're female or male, doesn't matter. I love Aries. You guys, we have a very, very deep connection for some reason, I've always been the type to attract Aries into my life. I have many Aries friends and most exes have been Aries. Amazing people. I adore them. Their energy just, and I also feel like they're the only ones. Them and Scorpios are one of the few, and Aquarius are one of the few that can deal with Capricorn type of energy. <laughs> um, but it makes perfect sense. Did you guys know, by the way, uh, giving you the 411 here. If you look into your natal chart, if you look into your birth chart and you look at your eighth house, whatever sign is in your eighth house, that is the sign that is immediately, automatically always going to be attracted to you. And you are also going to feel a very distinct connection with them. And I have Aries in my eighth house. So just so you guys know, I guarantee you guys, if you guys look at that, 
you're going to realize like if there is a pattern to the people that you've dated in the past, like it's going to it's going to blow your mind if you see the sign that is in your eighth house, because those by natural instinct are just drawn to you and you'll find that whatever sign is in your eighth house, that's mo the majority of the people that you are that you have around you or the people that you've dated or that are naturally attracted to you because it's that sexual raw energy. Um, so yeah, just a little tidbit there for you guys. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And I know for some of you guys, you're like, well, Pinky, if a lot of your exes have been Aries, like, why did it go wrong? Um, you guys, it wasn't until like late in life that I realized I just have this weird energy when it comes to relationships. I don't like to be caged in. I don't like to. It's like if you let me run free, right? And I just am free and you trust me then I always come back to that energy. But a lot of the time, people have a lot of trauma that they need to heal, and they usually don't, you know? So that desire to want to contain, basically what I'm saying is, that was an excuse, by the way, for the fact that I have commitment issues in the, not necessarily because I could be extremely committed to someone, but in the aspect of they need to let me run free. If that makes sense. I know. I am a conundrum, right? A walking enigma. Anyways. Moving on. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Aries. My lovely Aries. What can you expect in the next coming 72 hours? Alright. Here we go. Aries. Alright. Your first card here. Queen of Swords. Okay. For some of you guys, you're going to be kind of debating whether you guys should um, execute some type of move, some type of decision that has or that it may be connected to your homeland, may be connected to your family, may be connected to your parents. For some of you guys, may be connected to your past where you've been hesitant about letting go of certain things of the past. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be forced to detach from the past. This is giving me almost the energy of feeling a connection or, or, or being given or taken to a connection, but this connection is also going to challenge you in the aspect of almost like realizing that there are certain toxic traits about you or about your past that you don't kind of want to realize or you don't want to like take self accountability for. But I feel like this person is forcing you and not like literally physically forcing you, but like it's, you know, if you want me in your life, there's certain things that need to change. So this is giving me almost the vibe of like an example of you're super cool with like your baby daddy or, or your or um, your baby mama um, and you feel this connection that is starting to bloom. But then that person tells you like, hey, that's a red flag. Like you guys are too cool with each other or you guys have too much like, you know, comfortability around each other. Like I can't deal with that or there's something that you're going to be challenged um, in regards to the connection, in regards to is it worth maintaining or am I the one that needs to move on and let go of the past, especially with the death card here, you guys. So there is definitely, yeah, it's bringing to you healing. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're being challenged right now. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that is right for you. You may be dealing with the person that is going to bring a lot of healing, but in this healing, it's going to make you confront a lot of your insecurities or a lot of like safety blankets that you use. And it's like, we can't do that no more because if you want me in your life, like there has to be some type of distancing between you and the baby daddy or between you and the baby mama type of thing. So I feel like it's a positive thing because you're being forced to self-acknowledge 
that maybe those connections that you've maintained from the past are not really bringing anything or doing anything for you other than feeling safe. And if you want to fully embrace this new beginning, you have to detach from that. It's kind of like you got to let go of the past to be able to embrace the new beginning. Yeah, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with exes or you will be forced to deal with like connections from exes because uh, we have two queens here. So again, I feel like this person is a person that is very like knows their worth. They are very confident in themselves and they also know fuckery and they're not going to deal with that type of fuckery. So I feel like you guys are being pushed to step up to the next level, Aries, um, or step up to uh, how you deal with dating. For some of you guys, it could be that you're basically chase, chasing after a person that has a very good, healthy boundaries and they're kind of making you get out of that childish energy and step up to your masculine or step up to your feminine energy of fully embracing new beginnings and being committed to it. So it's like taking self-responsibility. Um, you may be hesitant about this. It, it's been something that you've been dealing with for quite a while. Uh, for some of you guys, like I said, you've been lying to yourself all this time. It's like, yeah, I'm super cool with baby daddy or I'm super cool with baby mama. Um, but is it really that you're cool or is it that they they help you around the house? They make it good for you or you're still using them or you're still uh, hiding away from that connection because you're scared that what if, you know, you completely pull away and then everything's going to change. Guess what, Aries? Things are going to change. That is part of life. And if there's no change, it means there's no growth. So my advice is if you are dealing with this situation or these type of energies, definitely fully commit to it and embrace it because it's time for you to grow up, Aries, in the most loving way, by the way. <laughs> All righty. Now let's go to my lovely Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is this full moon bringing to Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What can Taurus expect in the next coming 72 hours? What can Taurus expect in the next coming 72 hours? 72 hours. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Taurus. All right, my lovelies. You guys have the Queen of Pentacles, very empowered, very much your energy. Move on from the past is what they're telling you. <laughs> the obstacle that you need to overcome, okay? So this full moon is bringing to you realization for some of you guys. It's bringing to you an opportunity to actually travel. Uh, so in the next coming 72 hours, there may be a situation or circumstance that gives you the opportunity to actually travel or to take a short trip. What they're telling is definitely embrace this. Do not hesitate about it or take that leap of faith. Why? Because it's going to open up more horizons for you and more opportunities. Also, what they are showing me here is for a lot of you guys, you're finally moving on and you're moving on from a almost like you've gone through a healing Taurus. You've gone through. I see you guys much more empowered. I see you guys much more in control of yourselves and what I'm seeing a lot is the scenery in the background, right? It's like very green. It's very like you've healed yourself and you finally have moved on. But I feel like in the past you moved on mentally where you convinced yourself like you've been done and moved over or moved on from that. Um, but I feel you guys actually taking the, the physical route of moving on. So this can mean that you're becoming more proactive in you know, whether it's like putting yourself out there in the dating scene for others of you, it could be that you are literally taking a trip somewhere where it's going to open up more opportunities for you. Um, all of this momentum is talking about actual movement. So that's what's what's bringing to you the, the, the opportunities that are unfolding. And we have the sun card here. So blessings, blessings and <laughs> Blessings in regards to every aspect of your life, Taurus. I'm going to be honest. I, I'm seeing for some of you guys, I'm seeing a relationship that comes based on um, while you're traveling. So there is a connection that comes through some type of, you know, uh, some type of meeting of the souls. Um, and this happens while you're either traveling or taking a short trip and it is very unexpected. I feel like it's a like-minded person. It is a person that, 
has been looking or has been wanting a partner like yourself or that has the same virtues and qualities as you do. And this is not a coincidence because this is definitely what the universe is bringing to you right now, Taurus. You see, I, I don't even have to pull it out. Like I am definitely seeing a relationship start to form or start to build. Um, this full moon is most definitely bringing to you guys love and romance. Uh, try the best you can to not be judgmental, Taurus. I see that this person that's coming through is not necessarily the same type that you're used to. So it could be a different background, a different race, a different, even from a different country. Um, and I see you guys a little bit in your head about it. But know and understand that this is the universe bringing to you something that you are deserving of and something that you've been working very hard towards uh, in regards to yourself or in regards to your self-worth. You finally accomplished that. It's time to fully embrace the possibilities because the possibilities are endless for you. What I am seeing here, is, especially for some of you guys, this is interesting because what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, they spoke about a different partner or maybe a different type. But they're also showing me that this partner that's coming through for some of you guys may be younger. And you may feel like it's exciting in the beginning, but then you start getting in your head and you're worried about how people are going to perceive the relationship or how they're going to judge you. Don't let your ego ruin something that has the potential for something long term. Fully embrace and open yourself up to any opportunity. Why? Because this these are the breakthroughs that happen that completely transform our lives, Taurus. All right, my lovelies. All righty. All right, my lovelies, we have come to the conclusion. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you have, definitely comment, let me know. And I want to wish you guys all the very best. And we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.